Hello there. I'm Constantine Reader, Sheriff of Mayfield. Welcome to our town. Last analysis. Seven days, three hours, and 45 minutes ago. Hello everyone, I am Val and I'm here to tell you all about Conscience. Conscience is based in Westworld, which is an HBO show, so it takes place kind of in the wild wild west. It's almost meta in the sense that Westworld is supposed to be a park where guests can go into the park and they will have tons of robots that are basically role-playing the characters from Wild Wild West and they can't interact with them. So it looks like a world western town and the humans can come into this park and role-play with these robots that think their entire life is actually the normal Wild Wild West. But conscience you get to either play a guest, which is a human that comes into the park, or a host, which is a robot that thinks they're real people and they act in the plot lines that basically repeat themselves the same storyline over and over again every day. Except you don't remember it, of course, because that's their reality. They're computers that go around the park and pretend they're people. Conscience was the first LARP where I actually had to get cast as one of the characters in this plot. I did have to get cast in Convention of Thorns, but that was mostly just so I would know which one my clan would be and what age of vampire I would have. In College of Wizardry, you don't have to get cast at all. You usually can just get sorted into a house, but the character itself you can create from scratch. Conscious was very different in the sense that you actually have a character that has a role in this town to fit the overall storyline of the game. They send out a big form that you fill out with all your preferences from things you would really like to play into to things you would really not want to play into and all kinds of themes that you're okay with exploring in LARP and the themes you're not. For example, LARP being based in Westworld, it has a lot of topics like dehumanization if you're playing a host, you're basically a machine, you send to the organization and they will try to find the characters that will fit your interests better. Somehow, I ended up being cast as the sheriff of this town. So after everything, everyone has filled out the form, you get a casting email from the organization and they will tell you a little bit about your character. When I got cast as the sheriff of the town, I completely freaked out. This was only my third ever LARP and I wasn't sure I could be comfortable enough in my LARPing abilities to play a figure that so many people are going to look up to who's going to have to make so many decisions within the game. But because I was cast as a sheriff anyway, I figured I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Unlike College of Wizardry and a little bit of Convention of Thorns, you don't have a lot of pre-play for conscience. The games I was used to before, you would have world building, you would have text-based role-playing if you wanted to create more connections with your characters. In this case, because it's a complete storyline and not a sandbox, you get less control over your character and what you would do. So all of the relationships my character would have in-game were already preset. Um, she had her deputy that she was very close with, there were a couple of other people that would help the sheriff here and there, and she had a secret relationship that was already preset with another player. That helped me in a way that the only thing I really had to prepare for this LARP was the costume. On the other hand, because I didn't have much control over my character and what was going to happen, and because it was so different from what I had experienced in Convention of Thorns and College of Wizardry, I was very, very nervous before the LARP. I didn't really know what to expect, I had never been into a game that there was a casting mechanic before the game happened, and I had never really been into a game where the storyline was so very focused. So I did feel a little bit going into the whole thing blind, but Apparently that was actually what the organization wanted. They had so many things that were happening in the game, so many secrets. The characters themselves had secrets that some people could know about, some people couldn't. And so there was a lot that was better for you if you didn't really know going to the game. We just had lunch and now we are about to start the workshops. I still have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm just very excited about all of it. So I'm trying to capture some footage before the game actually starts. And 
I am sure there is every time that we forget to capture anything at all. The site was amazing. Back in the old times when they were still making a lot of western movies and cowboy movies, they had built this western set in the middle of nowhere in Spain where they used to film a lot of what they called spaghetti westerns because they are funded by Italians for the most part. The set looks like something you would see in a Hollywood movie somewhere. I have actually been to a Western set back in California that looks exactly the same. It's, you know, the main street of the town. You have the bank, you have the sheriff's station, you have the saloon. There's all these little shops here and there, some of them which you can actually go in, like the sheriff's station. Outside of the sheriff's station, gonna be my home for the last three days. Everything is actually built as a movie set. You get there and you're immediately immersed in this location that was used to film something like Westworld and it is perfectly done even the way it's a little bit run down because obviously it hasn't been used in many many years the way you can just like drag a chair outside the sheriff's station and sit down so it looks and feels very authentic not necessarily to an actual western town but to what the movies of the time where westworld is supposed to take place would look like if that makes sense as far as accommodations out of character and stuff goes this was the LARP with the least amount of comfort I had been to so far and the previous LARPs I've been to, they were all in castles and you had like proper rooms you had a, almost a hotel level of comfort, like a three-star hotel I would say, level of comfort for conscience you had bunk beds in the room I was in there were probably about, I don't know, 60 people or something it was just like massive amounts of bunk beds, both sides of the room but it was actually quite comfortable, it wasn't bad at all. I did bring a sleeping bag, which was nice because in the evening, because you're in a desert type area, it does get very cold. The showers were not great. It was one of those portable, like trailer-like showers. It was good enough to take the sand out of your body from running around all day and getting shot and getting killed, but it wasn't great to like wash my hair, for example. So dry shampoo definitely saved me in this LARP, and many LARPs, but it's not extremely comfortable, but it's doable, even for a spoiled brat like me. So we got there, we got settled into our accommodations, we took a look around the park, and we had our workshops, as usual with all the other LARPs I've been to, and this one it was a little different because you had to learn how to use your prop guns which I was very anxious about. I absolutely hate any type of firearms, they terrify me. But being able to test one out during the workshop and understand how they worked really helped me because being the sheriff, I had two guns and they were heavy. They actually like felt real. They were obviously not real, but they felt like the weight and everything, the look of it did look very realistic. So I was kind of uncomfortable when I first got there but I got to try it out to shoot it a couple of times and it was fun and then I kind of enjoyed having them as my character would never have a gun in real life but as my character it just it gave her a little bit of comfort in the things that she knew was just like having a gun, being the sheriff, being able to protect her town After workshops we didn't really have a lot of time to get ready so we just went right and straight into the game and because all of the robot characters, all the hosts, are in this loop. Certain things happen the same every day in their normal world, right? So if the game started like 4 o'clock, we had a wedding at 4 o'clock. So every day at 4 o'clock there was a wedding of the same people getting married with all the same characters there. As the characters progress through their storylines and start finding their consciousness, things do change, but as the norm, as far as your character knows, this is their day, and this is they, they only remember one day at a time, so for them this is normal. The guests, the human characters, would know this is a loop, and that this happens every day, but the hosts wouldn't know, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna give too many spoilers, but it's very action-packed from the very beginning, and it was by far the busiest game I've ever had. I think especially before being in a role of the sheriff that was so like central to a lot of the things that were happening in town, especially all of the host plots, the 
you know, the bad guys robbing, the newcomers coming into town, all of that, like, my character was very involved in these things. And it was like, it was exhausting, but it was good busy. I always had something to do. There was always someone calling for the sheriff. It was... It was a very dynamic LARP, and a LARP that I was able to get involved into a lot of plots without really even having to look for it. I never had a moment when I didn't have something to do in that LARP, and it was really intense. And I can't really spoil anything because there might be some situations that happen the same, but it was, it was intense, but in a really good way, in a really positive way that helped me get really involved in all of the plots that were happening around the park. So it's hard to describe conscience without spoiling the storyline, but in respect to all of the work that organization put into this, in respect to all of the different plot lines and characters that they have going, I'm not going to talk too much about what actually happens at the LARP. What I can say though is that it is incredibly emotional, it is harsh. There were times when I was sobbing I was crying so hard, mostly out of anger because of the things that like my character was just very angry about everything that she was finding out and everything that was going on, but I wouldn't change anything about this experience. I felt incredibly safe during the LARP, I felt incredibly involved in all the plots and I would definitely go again, even though I already know so much about what happens. Because I played as a host, I could go play as someone who works in the park or I could go play as a guest and I believe I would have a completely different experience from what I did as a host, as a sheriff. Um, even if I played as a host, like as one of the bandidos or you know, one of the bad guys in the park, I still think that I would have a completely different experience than what I did and there are definitely things that I would play differently, especially when it comes to delegating a lot more about you know making sure the town is safe creating more deputies during the game but being as it was my first game playing someone who's in charge and someone who has a lot of authority I feel like I did okay uh, it was definitely a challenge and I love being challenged by LARPs so I absolutely loved being trusted with this role and I absolutely loved my experience at Conscience. It's it's really complex and it's really emotionally challenging and like I said it's really intense but I cannot recommend it enough. If you like Westworld and if you if you know you're okay with this kind of like high intensity, highly emotional scenarios, I definitely recommend Conscience. I'm gonna leave a link for Conscience down below and a link for not only LARP and I highly recommend their LARPs. They're seem to do amazing work in all the LARPs they do. I don't know if they're running Conscience again, I really hope so because I would love to go back. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell button to get notifications of when I upload new videos, and I hope to see you in a future LARP. Bye! Where are we going, Hannah? Uh, um, we're going to Malaga.